here's a group of good guys that were shipped to me by ground. What's inside the Scream Factory Chucky 4-7 to movie set? And speaking of shipping, boy, this thing took forever to finally arrive. I did order this, obviously, over at Screen Factory's site. This contains, of course, the remaining four Chucky films. Uh, this would be, of course, then the Chucky films like Seed of Chucky and then all the films that would be, you know, subsequent sequels afterwards. You could, of course, get this set available. I'm going only by Canadian prices. There was this set that I picked up that was $206. Now, that granted has been marked down from the $210 price point, which I think it initially was. And then there's also a set that I passed on completely that was, it, right now at least, over on their site, $308. And from what I can see, the only difference really between the two was the one that was about $100 more had also additional prism stickers, trading cards, and enamel pins. Not something at all I was really that much interested in. So I decided instead I was really only just going to be getting the movies themselves. Now these movies also will be containing the brand new posters. And like I said, it did finally arrive. I ordered this several months ago, and while many people may have already gotten their boxes arrived by doorstep, I had to wait again a little bit longer. This has just now arrived, probably again, I would say at least several weeks after probably many people have already got these ordered, delivered, and probably did unboxings of these online. So I appreciate anybody that's now getting the chance to watch this review, again, a little bit later than probably some of the others. That being said, I did only cut the tape here on the front, uh, only just to make sure that everything was con content-wise contained inside. I have also taken the liberty of removing my shipping label on the top, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up. I'll show you exactly what was contained inside. It's a rather large box, so do bear with the person that's behind the camera. We've got, first of all, the Scream Factory paper. It's always nice to see that they include that. And then we've got, of course, the movies. Now, the movies here are on the sides. I'm just going to grab these right now. We've got Bride of Chucky. I said Seed of Chucky moving forward, but it was technically Bride of Chucky moving forward. we got Bride of Chucky. we got Seed of Chucky, Curse of Chucky, and my least favorite of the Chucky films is Cult of Chucky. At one point, I would have told you that Child's Play 3 was probably my least favorite, but going back and really watching, even like Seed of Chucky, Seed of Chucky has elements to it that I actually don't mind. Cult of Chucky, by far for me, is my least favorite Chucky film. But you got all the essentials. Uh, now, these are, again, 4K Ultra HD and Blu-rays. So if you don't have yourself yet a 4K player, you still have the option of being able to play this in Blu-ray. But again, I've got all now the four films. Most of the films I've had up to this point, like I think Seed of Chucky, I only had like the larger DVD case for and of course curse of chucky and cult of chucky has been released multiple times so we're not really getting anything new there what we are though getting new though is the inclusion now of the additional artwork and for me at least when i generally go when the whenever i order movies say online and they arrive and they have the slip covers the covers usually will always have brand new artwork and for me, at least, I always really like more the classic looking artwork on the cases inside. Uh, the For the the actual Chucky movies, though, I will say, like, I really like the art styling that they approached with when it came to these. And again, on the back, I think we've actually got also the cards. Maybe I did get the cards, but I didn't get the pins, something along those lines. Uh, see what else we have also in here. I'm just going to remove this for right now. Do bear with me again. I've got so much stuff. This box is huge. I'm just going to move the posters out of the way for right now. I want to make sure I've got everything out of the way. Let's just move the box out of the way. All right, now we actually got ourselves a surface to work with. So again, we've got the movies. Those are the movies are going to be sitting right over there. Uh, I did also take the time. I, I did also order the posters. The posters were contained inside the tube. It just has now opened up. We're going to put those right over there also as well. And again, we've also got ourselves the, the covers. Now, I'm going to go ahead and take the liberty first to remove and open up the packaging. If you have had the chance, by the way, to get this, I'm just going to reach off and grab my knife. In fact, actually, this is my brand new knife. This is McCutcheon's. McCutcheon's will be joining us for many future unbaggings. But carefully, though, McCutcheon's does have a very sharp blade. Get carefully open this up. And inside, like again, we're going to be getting the brand new slip sleeve covers. If this person behind the camera, of course, can open this up without damaging these. And it looks to be also the case that I did get myself the cards. I really thought that the cards were what... Let's just have a look at this. Maybe it isn't the cards. It's been, it's been so long ago, after all, I did order this. Opening this up, though, quickly and checking out the contents. If, though, by the way, you did get the chance to get these... Why am I... I'm fumbling, fumbling all over the place here. Oh, okay. So I did get the prism stickers. I did think I get... Uh, did I get one prism sticker? I think I got one prism sticker. Bride of Chucky. There it is right there. I, okay, sure. 
I wasn't expecting necessarily Bride of Tuck to be contained in there, but nice little prism sticker, I suppose. Let's put that to the side. I want to make sure I just did I drop any others. I hope I didn't drop any of the other cards, the other uh, prism cards. So like I said, we did get the posters. We did get, of course, the slip covers, and then we got the movies themselves. I guess we'll start first with the movies. The movies, uh, first of all, having Bride of Chucky. This is, again, the Ultra 4K and Blu-ray release of it. Uh, special features include, in this case, Disc 1 4K UHD, the new 2023 4K Master, audio commentary with director Ronnie Yu, audio commentary with actors Jennifer Tilly and Brad Dourif, and screenwriter Don Mancini. I feel, honestly, when it comes to Jennifer Tilly, she would do anything really... I mean, you would only just really need to call her. You wouldn't even have to pro provide her... Uh, financial restitution. I'm sure she'd be willing just to do anything when it comes to Chucky-related movies. Uh, disc 2 Blu-ray, we've got the new four, uh, 2023 4K Master, audio commentary with Rodney Yu, audio commentary uh, with Jennifer Tilly, Brad Turf. so seems to be the same stuff. Bride of Chucky Spotlight on Location and Theatrical Trailer. Uh, this was released, by the way, 1998. The running time for this is 89 minutes. Inside, you're going to probably not notice anything that's different about these. Um, usually is sometimes the case when it comes to these Scream Factory releases that you open up the case, for example. And I, I don't think that, if memory serves me correctly, I don't think Bride of Chucky actually did have a reverse cover because this would have been the original movie poster. But it would be fun if we actually did open this up, for example, which I'm doing, of course, right now. If we were to say open this up and contained, well, actually underneath it, no, it's just completely blank. So on the inside, though, We've got the Blu-ray on the one side. We've got the 4K Ultra HD on the other side. Now, as of right now, at the time of shooting this video, my plan is to eventually get myself a 4K player. But as of, of course, right now, I don't. I still have a Blu-ray. So I'm always still looking on the... I'm on the hunt when it comes to these 4K releases to always hopefully still include Blu-ray, at least for right now. So this is the original, uh, of course, slip sleeve cover. We're only going to move this to the side for right now. And let's grab the Bride of Chucky right now. Now, the Bride of Chucky, unfortunately, with all these insert sleeves, these, sorry, these outer slip sleeve covers, is while you do have brand new artwork here featured on the front, Chucky does get lucky. I really love the artwork on this, by the way. Flipping around to the back, they, didn't, they don't tend to ever have the features, which is one thing I really wish that they could have actually had. Uh, for me, at least, I love the cover, but, I mean, to be able to see exactly what's on the, the inside case, sure, it's fine to be able to slip the case out, be able to look exactly what's on the back of it. I would have liked if they could have just also done that on this side, too. And I'm sure that's probably something I've also said in other reviews as well. Carefully, though, carefully. Going to open up the sleeve. Now, these you have to kind of just bend a little bit because, of course, the spine, everything's flat on these. We're going to take carefully the... I keep saying, keep saying carefully. Going to take now the, the uh, Bride of Chucky case, slide that inside, and boy, does that ever look nice. Uh, the actual spine doesn't look to be v really that much different. I mean, they've changed, obviously, the picture there. There's Tiffany up at the top. The original one would have only had Chucky and Tiffany at the top. But the spine, at least font-wise, it's the exact same size, exact same color, exact same font. So there we have the Bride of Chucky. I'm going to move those right over there. And actually, just before we, we kind of go... I'm dropping everything everywhere. Before we actually kind of look to all the other cases, I did also want to bring in the other cases that I did get. Now, these I had ordered earlier from Scream Factory, and probably one of the reasons also why I decided to pull the trigger eventually and get this set for myself was because I also want to kind of keep the cases consistent. The original ones I did pick up was the 4K Ultra HD and uh, Blu-ray of Child's Play. So again, you've got not necessarily a brand new cover because I think we actually did get this cover before. Out of somewhat order, we also had the Child's Play 2 with brand new artwork. Love that. And actually, when I did order these, I did do an unboxing on my channel also earlier, if you wanted to go back and have a look at that as well. But all of these would have also come with the posters, these posters also as well. And then also there's Child's Play 3. Considered by many probably be one of the worst Child's Plays, I would almost say when it comes to Cult of Chucky, he's saying, hold my, I wouldn't necessarily say hold my beer, hold my voodoo knife. I think it's a much much worse movie. So I have those. So now, I, of course, I can add on top of that the Bride of Chucky film. All these posters, by the way, are kind of just taking up space on the other side. Uh, the next one we want to also have a look at is Seed of Chucky. Now, Seed of Chucky, I only have right now, at least up to the point of getting this box, I only had the Seed of Chucky DVD. I don't think they actually really... Did they officially release a Seed of Chucky? Maybe they did, and I just never really got the chance to pick it up. But this is, a, of course, the original sleeve cover, Seed of Chucky. I always really liked this image of Chucky having his hand down. Um, there is a, a famous painting that, of course, has, like, I think it's God and it's Jesus' hands. They're, like, 
almost reaching for one another. I think that's probably what they went with here for Seed of Chucky. I'm sure if somebody knows the name of that painting, you can let me know down below in the comment section. Just to slide this off, maybe what I will do is as I, I know I'm going to be dropping stuff everywhere, I'm going to just take the original case and I'm just going to put them to the side for at least right now. I'm not really honestly sure what I'm going to be doing with those original covers, but let's go ahead and open up Seed of Chucky. Oh, by the way, also on the back here. Special features include the new 2023 scan of the original camera negative. Disc 2 features the Blu-ray theatrical and unrated cuts, which I think I have seen the unrated cut. It's a new 2023 4K master. The, the theatrical cut, the audio commentary with writer, director Don Mancini and actress Jennifer Tilly, of course. Audio commentary with Dan, Don Mancini and animatronics designer Tony Gardner. Slasher scene featuring audio commentary with Don Mancini and actress Debbie Lee Carrington. Here's Chucky, interview with Chucky, family holiday slideshow, conceiving the seed of Chucky, Tilly on the Tonight Show, Fusion up close with the seed of Chucky stars, storyboard to final feature, comparison, and theatrical trailer. Let's go ahead and open this up right now. Now again, I don't think this is this cover is the cover that's on the DVD. I really should have also checked the case before I started hitting record, but still, let's open up, take the plastic off at least. Very unlikely, I'm sure, is the case that they probably have put in a an alternate cover. Let's just see. No, there's no alternate cover. It's likely going to be the case with all of these, is the case at least, that with the individual cases, they're probably not going to have anything like in the way of a reversible artwork. There's Seed of Chucky. Of course, on the inside, you've got yourself Seed of Chucky, the Blu-ray theatrical and unrated cuts over onto the one side, and the 4K Ultra HD theatrical cut on the other. Just quickly looking at this here. Yeah, so the Disc 1 4K theatrical cut, kind of strange if I'm looking at this correctly, that the 4K does not actually have, from what I'm seeing here at least, doesn't have the unrated cut. Strange that they would only have put the unrated cut on the the, uh, the the second disc or the Blu-ray disc and not actually have had it on the 4K. Either way, though, so that's the uh, that's the case. Let's go, of course, find ourselves. It's right over here. Curse of Chucky? No, that's not it. Here we go. Seed of Chucky. Again, love the artwork on this. The posters, actually, if just in case anybody was asking, the original posters I did get with the uh, Child's Play 1, 2, and 3. I ended up giving away. I gave it to actually a relative of mine that was a big Chucky fan. I, I really did like the artwork, honestly, but uh, you know they also were a big fan of Chucky, so I thought, why, why not? I might end up just de deciding to keep the uh, posters this time around because I did actually really like the artwork on so far these, The Bride of Chucky and Seed of Chucky. And I'm sure that's probably going to be consistent as well as when we're looking at The Curse and Cult of Chucky. So they're, of course, Bride of Chucky, Cult of Seed of Chucky, and of course, we'll add those to the pile. Next one on the chopping block, again, somewhat out of order, is Curse of Chucky. Now, Curse of Chucky here in the back, special features include Disc 1 4K, UD, 4K UHD unrated cut, the new 2023 4K Master of the Unrated Cut audio commentary with actor with writer-director Don Mancini, animatronic designer Tony Gardner, and actress Fiona Dorif. Disc 2, which is also the Blu-ray rated and unrated cuts, Feature the new 2023 4K Master of the Unrated Cuts, the audio commentary with Don Mancini, Tony Gardner, and Fiona Dorf. Playing with Dolls, uh, the making of Curse of Chucky, Living Doll, bringing Chucky to life, Voodoo Doll, the Chucky Legacy, storyboard comparison, deleted scenes, gag reel, and trailer. Uh, actually, you know what? Branching away from both Bride of Chucky and Seed of Chucky, I would say like Curse of Chucky was actually really a good movie. I, I quite liked it. It's unfortunately, though, it, it took then a tumble when we got to Curse of Chucky, uh, Cult of Chucky. But I did actually like Curse of Chucky. So let's go ahead and slide then the sleeve out. I have a safe assumption that this is uh, these aren't going to have any reversible covers based on the fact that we've only op we've opened two so far, and none of them have had. Let's just check the case underneath. Check under the hood, so to speak. Yeah, there's nothing there. So on the one side, of course, you got the Blu-ray uh, rated and unrated cuts. Then on the flip side, we've got the 4K Ultra HD unrated cut. And let's grab ourselves the cover to go along with that. Now, this one does have, I really like this one because it also has Chucky pulling away his face, which was one thing that kind of had me a little confused when I was first watching Curse of Chucky. Well, where in sequence does Curse of Chucky take place? Because, of course, he is quite mangled and scarred in both Bride and Seed. Where, where of course, is the scarring from there? And, of course, when we, we do find out. The only thing I wasn't too keen on was the fact that this sort of started to introduce the backstory for Charles Lee Ray. 
A backstory I feel like goes completely out of control when it comes to the Chucky TV series. I feel like less was more. We didn't really need to delve too deep into the backstory of Charles Lee Ray. But anyways, though, I really do like the artwork once again. And then on the back, nothing. Nothing at all. Like, why couldn't it not have been... Like, what, why couldn't it have just been this? That way, if you had just taken this off the shelf and somebody had said to you, oh, well, what's the features on Curse of Chucky? You could have actually done this and had it look like this. You know, again, you would all have the features. I don't, you know, I don't feel like... Would I want to sacrifice features in favor of just a, a random picture of Chucky looking down on something? Right? That's me, at least. Let's just bend the spine very carefully on these. Now, I, I have also noticed over on uh, Scream Factory's site, if you guys are interested to get these for yourself, that they are available individually. The only downside, though, from what I can see, is if you were to get, say, these individually, what you would be getting, though, essentially, is the ones with these cases. I think with the artwork, you have to specifically get the sets, like the set that I got, for example, the lesser grade set that had the one prism, prism card. Uh, if you did want to get, of course, that one, or you want to spend the extra hundred dollars more, which I don't really think is honestly worth it, uh, that I think is the only way that you can get the ones that actually have the artwork. So that's all of them, except for then the last one, which is for me, at least the least favorite of mine, Cult of Chucky. It's just did not like this at all. It sort of felt like it, it wanted to be another movie or it was a low, very low blockbuster. I don't even want to say blockbuster. It was like a very low grade B horror movie. And then they just sort of threw in Chucky. Sort of the inevitable uh, followings, unfortunately, for Pinhead. All the directed VHS or directed video releases were basically all just movies that already existed. And then they just basically dropped in Pinhead and all of those movies. I kind of felt like Curse Cult of Chucky was essentially sort of the same thing. Anyways, on the back of this one, special features include Disc 1, 4K, Ultra, UHD, Ultra High Definition, uh, Unrated Cuts, the new 2023 4K Master of the Unrated Cut audio commentary with writer-director Don Mancini, and animatronic designer Di Guy Tony Gardner. Why well, I was struggling with that. Disc 2, Blu-ray, Rated and Unrated Cuts, the new 2023 4K Master of the Unrated Cut audio commentary with Don Mancini and Tony Gardner inside the insanity of Cult of Chucky, Good, Go Good Guy Gone Bad, the incarnations of Chucky, the dollhouse deleted scenes, and optional commentary by Don Mancini and trailer. This is also the start of one thing I really didn't like as a trend for Chucky was the fact that they sort of introduced the idea that Chucky could so very easily pass his essence along with other Chucky dolls. I honestly just felt it was a missed opportunity that they didn't take the blood that leaked into the plastic vat at the beginning of Child's Play 3 and not just expand on that. What if those were all just Chuckies that were lurking around in other parts of the world, other parts of North America at least? And they all sort of just came together. Chucky had somehow the means to connect with all those other Chuckies. And then in Cult of Chucky, hey, there's all the Chuckies that existed from that blood-dripped vat of plastic. Missed opportunity, if you ask me. Anyways, let's go ahead and slide the sleeve off here. And again, I don't think anything's going to be a bit different when it comes to the actual insert. Let's just open up the plastic. Now, at the time of doing this video, um, I actually have both Cult and Curse... Uh, in the original cases so like i would have had let's just bring these back here for example i were i already have curse of chucky and i have cult of chucky actually with these inserts so in some sense like i already have really these movies i don't have them in 4k so i guess there's that benefit but uh, i don't actually well you know i have a I have basically the same the same outer sleeve cover until now now we have of course the three chucky's featured here in the front um yeah, you know, it's good artwork. I think it's probably my least favorite of the of the four. Probably has also something to do with a biased opinion that I just think Cult of Chucky is a garbage movie. Let's just carefully, carefully bend the spines here. As of right now, too, uh, the prices that I gave you guys over on Scream Factory's website are reduced prices. They have dropped, they have recently, in fact, dropped the prices on these. I always feel like these things will run out, deplete in stock. I'll go back to them later and they'll be all sold out. And that's why I always, I, I try to jump on them right away, right away when I think, okay, the listings just dropped. Everyone's going to be going and buying these. Sure enough, like even if you wanted to get yourself the Friday the 13th box set, <laughs> it's still doing very well over on their on their website. And they've marked it down actually a couple of times more. So you could still probably easily get this, I would imagine, like months from now. I don't want to say it. Don't make that as a promise. But I would imagine be able to still get these like months from now. 
So there's all the Chucky films. Now, of course, with the brand new artwork, I really like the look of that. And to go also along with that, while I wouldn't be able to, well, I wouldn't be able to probably open up and show you guys all of these, just because again, like the poster is going to be so big. You do also get yourself some mini posters. Now, with each of the mini posters, you have the original poster. I'm pointing at right now with my thumb, Bride of Chucky, and then of course all the new slipcover artworks that we already got with the actual cases. Those will all now be included. So you get ones for Bride of Chucky, you get ones for Cult of Chucky, Curse of Chucky, and Seed of Chucky. Not in any order whatsoever. All of the individual posters, by the way, I'm just going to open these up carefully here. The posters, by the way, uh, will involve me having to cut the tape here on the side. This knife, by the way, is super sharp. Probably a good, good thing that I called it McCutcheons. If I'm not too careful, I'll probably cut myself. But all the artwork, all the posters, of course, you can see, like, they're a full size. Well, they would be, a, I would imagine, like a half size poster. Can you actually see that or not? But a half size poster so they're of you know they're a good size i you know since then i've actually scream factory has something to do with this as well i always felt that when it came to my movie room my movie room is a work in progress but i always felt with my movie room i actually wanted to have full size posters but i realized like that the charm in getting like these half size and even quarter size posters is that you can actually have like a full size poster and then you can kind of have like like little mini posters, little mini posters on the side. And I think there's kind of a little bit of a charm to that. Just quickly looking around on the floor to make sure that I didn't drop the prism sticker. It's strange that I only really got the one. I'm going to probably just check around after this video shot just to make sure because there are a few things that kind of dropped as I was just taking everything out. But I did also get myself a prism sticker. They might have just teased me with one of them seeing as, well, you didn't buy the other set, sir, for the extra $100 more. So, like, this is just sort of an indication of what you missed out on. Honestly, though, if this, this was the case, I don't feel like I missed out on anything. I did also miss out on getting the pins, but again, for a difference of $100, it still is a difference of $100, literally. It's like $200 and something on one for this set, and there was like $300 then on the other set. I honestly think for the for the price of admission, the, the things I was the, really honestly the most interested in was, first of all, the brand new covers, the fact that they're also 4K releases. Uh, but honestly, it's the covers. Just because, again, like I had already picked up Child's Play 1, 2, and 3 with a brand new artwork that I wanted to be at least consistent on my shelf. That's the problem when you usually get then a series of movies and they re-release them, and they usually re-release them when they, you know, they go with all the bells and the whistles. And even then, like, look at the original ones. The original ones never even had the special features featured on the back. But when you get a, a series of films, a slasher film, and Scream Factor releases, like, half the set, in this case, the original three, with all the bells and the whistles, of course, you know when they're going to be following up with that. How do you then resist on then getting these? right? So that was exactly my mindset. And I didn't really have the funds available at the time that this set finally came out. I think I end up ordering about a month or so later. But then after that, it took forever for the set to arrive. At the end of it, I am happy. I mean, not necessarily happy that I have a Cult of Chucky film, but at least I do have like brand new artwork, and that's saying something. But I'm glad to actually finally have the complete Child's Play and Slash Chucky films now with the 4K releases and brand new artwork. Of the artwork available, I think like all of them turned out really good. The Cult of Chucky, maybe not as much, but I would certainly say like even Seed of Chucky has some really stellar looking artwork. And, of course, we do have the half-size posters to go along with that. If you guys are interested, uh, not a shameless plug at all. If you guys, though, are interested and would like to get the set for yourself, it is still available. I don't think you have anything to really worry about. It's over on Screen Factory's website. For, again, like the price points of a little over $200 for basically what you saw in this video. And then if you wanted to spend the extra $100 more, I don't think it's honestly worth it. But it, you basically get all the things I showed you in this video. Plus, you also got yourself the uh, Prism stickers, which I guess I got teased with one. And you also get yourself some collector's pins, which I, I don't like, really think is worth it at all. But again, if you guys are interested, head on over to Scream Factory's site and pick these up for yourself. If you have picked them up for yourself, let me know, let me know down below in the comment section what you guys thought of the sets. If you guys enjoyed this video, why don't you hit with a like. If you guys are loving the content you guys are seeing and you certainly do want to stick around for more, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Yes, sure, why not? And make sure you as well, you turn on the bell notification. We're going to have a bunch more videos coming your way as always, guys. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.